Sports. Temesco Canyon won the inaugural Ivy League Baseball Championship on Thursday afternoon with a final day victory over North at home. After a quarterfinal finish one year ago, the Titans are looking to make uh, one or two steps further in the Division II bracket. Joining us this morning to preview the Division II playoffs are uh, Titan players DJ Jones, Devlin Lindemann, Caden Zuba, and Dane Padenros. Was I close? Close. All right. <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, I know you had prom last night. Hope you had fun. Yes, sir. All right, let's jump into this. Uh, you guys start started that senior night game at at uh, six o'clock. Did anyone know that Paloma Valley had dropped their three fifteen game against uh, Valley View, or were you guys like watching it on Game Changer? You know, as you were going through the warm ups and whatnot. Yeah, the whole the whole pregame, our coaches were uh, on the phone, just letting us giving us updates, play by plays and stuff. And it was pretty big. They made a big deal out of it when they find out they lost. Yeah. Did did that put any more pressure on you guys to get that one done? I mean, no, knowing that you had a chance to clinch it on your own instead of sharing it with them? It motivated us more, if anything. Yeah, it got us fired up. Definitely played harder. Definitely yeah. Amazing. yeah, it was good. It was big. All right. So the final, when that final out got recorded against uh, North and you guys knew you got the job done and could share it, you know, share the title amongst yourselves and not with anyone else, describe that dog pile on the field. Uh, you, know, one, you know, the gloves going up in the air once you guys clinched it. That was uh, that was like the best high school moment we've had. Like we w we worked for that the whole year. And we finally got what we wanted. So yeah, that was big time. It was a great dog pile. It was a great dog. Yeah, I was tackling. I was tackling, <laughs> and then we were on the bottom. Straight tackle. <laughs> like he was on the mound, so everyone just went after him. <laughs> like perfect form on the tackling dummy yeah, in football. Yeah, it was good. Better than our football team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys have, I believe, it's fourteen seniors on the roster. What's it like to play on a roster with that many seniors? And then what do you hope that the younger guys take away from being around you guys? Um, playing with the 14 seniors, it's like, it's nice because we all played together for the last four years, from freshman year up to now. So we all have that chemistry, and I hope that the young guys like can feed off what we do as like a program, because they can learn from us, they can look up to us and learn from what we do. They're definitely going to have some big shoes to pull. They're going to have to put in some work. <laughs> All right. So uh, Coach Post is in his second year at the helm of the program. What's it been like to play under him these last couple of years? It's amazing. <laughs> well, that's what I think. I'm, I mean, I'm a pitcher, but I think it's amazing. Post has really, really well developed practice plans. Like we never go into a practice not having something to do. If there's anything like in a game, so we mess up like a fun coverage, or like a, like we miss like some something goes wrong in the game. The next day at practice, we'll instantly be on it and won't be an issue anymore. Right. Very organized. Yeah. All right. So how valuable is the experience of playing postseason baseball last year, as you guys looked to you know surpass that quarterfinal run of a year ago? Well, we really have, we have the same exact team basically, other than like two seniors that played a lot last year. We have the same team, so we're all experienced. And we've done some good, so hopefully we can do better this year. Wait for Mr. Motorcycle there. <laughs> all right, and you know I, I see you, you know your guys' Twitter feed and. Uh, you know, you guys do like team barbecues and all those things. How important is the camaraderie off the field to success on it? Oh, it's huge, guys. It's huge. Very huge. We've yeah. all been together for 10 years, and it's just brothers. So team chemistry, that's it. Even the parents, we love all the yeah, parents, parents and coaches. Everyone gets along great. It's we're awesome. never one big family. We're definitely, a, we're 100% a complete family. Like all brothers, with all the parents. Tightest, tightest team in the place. Is that what you all will? Is that what you all the seniors will remember when it's all said and done? Oh, yeah. yeah, we'll remember all of it. All right, you guys just blazed through that first section. All right, we're gonna go to something called extra innings now. So I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, we know a little bit about extra innings. We know a little bit about this. We're, so, we're pretty big on those. All right, so I'm gonna read nine descriptions or nine superlatives. Tell me the team member that best fits the uh, description being given. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, best karaoke performer. Galindo. Or no, Dane. Dane. No, Dane. 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 Dane's a big singer. Big, big, big karaoke guy. guy. All right. You want to sh show off a couple of bars? No, no, no. no, no. I, I gave it all hey, last night. Not, I promise. No. If you throw some 80, 80s music on, 90s oh, music, no, it's right, no, up, right up his alley. Okay. Uh, worst driver. Campbell. 
Campbell. Campbell. Yeah, I'll go Campbell there. Yeah, yeah. Jack Campbell. He's a he's not a bad driver, but he's very aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> very aggressive. <laughs> okay. Need two seat belts. All right. Most likely to appear on a reality or game show, and which one? This guy. Yeah, this you. Guy, he's a big like. I don't know. Kind of runs in Showtime. His, yeah, yeah he's, he's Hollywood. He goes yeah. for it. Any chance to make money with not doing a lot of work? He's all over <laughs> it. All right. Most likely to be a host on MLB Network in five years. Peter Gibbs. Yeah, Peter, yeah, Peter, Peter Gibbs. Gibbs. Peter Gibbs. Peter Gibbs. Peter Gibbs. Yeah. Back up, guys. Yeah. Always loves dressing up. Big announcer. Big announcing guy. Yeah. Big, <laughs> big very, very booming voice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, most studious. That might be Galindo. Galindo's Galindo. missed, missed a couple school or missed a couple of baseball events for school stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Big studies. Best cook. DJ Jones. DJ Jones. DJ Jones. DJ Jones. Late, late night nachos. Fire. Best, all breakfast, I say. best breakfast maker on the team. Woo. All right. Uh, team prankster. Jack. Jack. Jack McClellan. Jack McClellan. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. you hear his little giggle in the background and you already know what's going on. Uh, Most contagious laugh in the world. world. All right. Uh, biggest eater. Who puts it away at those team uh, buffets or dinners? <laughs> this guy. This guy. It's, 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 it's really, really weird tell. that he's skinny. He's right now. But, but this yeah. guy's pushed He's back. the biggest eater. I definitely... You put it away at those team barbecues oh, yeah. and dinners. Fast metabolism. All the parents know it, so they <laughs> make sure your DJ eats more. <laughs> All right, and most super, uh, most superstitious. <laughs> I like my eye black. I always yeah. have the black. Full team. Oh yeah, eye black even with the broken ankle. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's still, not even, he's not still even playing right now, but I still have to have eye black on. All right. He's got it going. All right. We've gone through extra innings, continuing extra innings. Well, this is a little segment called Getting to Know the Titans. Who wants to go first? Me. All right, Dean, <laughs> you're first. We'll just go that way. All right, here we go. Uh, favorite ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip. If you were to win an SB, who would your celebrity date be? Oh, wow. Uh, Adam Sandler. <laughs> Favorite post-game meal stop in the Ivy League? Oh, probably Chick Fil A for me. Only stop at Chick Fil A. Yeah. Yeah, like Chick -fil -A. Okay. Strangest food you've eaten at the ballpark in honor of the Seattle Mariners and their uh, fried uh, what was it crickets or what grasshoppers? I don't know. All right. If you could play another sport competitively, what would it be? Ice hockey. What position? Either uh, center or goalie. Okay. Best and worst subjects in school? Oh, my best is probably math. And my worst is probably like science. Okay. Favorite MLB stadium? Uh, Angel Stadium. Favorite roller coaster and amusement park? Oh, gosh. Uh, probably Knott's Berry Farm. And it would probably be Accelerator. Okay. And favorite Simpsons character? Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> here's the dad. What's his name? Homer. 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 <laughs> Homer. You want the bonus too or no? Oh, yes. Okay. Favorite book? Oh, my favorite book? That is going to be Probably like the, was it Captain Underpants? Captain yeah, Underpants. Underpants. Those books. All right. And then favorite non-baseball vacation? Uh, I go to the river a lot. All right. I like that. All right. Next up. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. All right, here we go. Favorite ice cream flavor? Cookie, cookies and chocolate. Uh, <laughs> cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Yeah, okay. Cookies and cream. Wait for the uh, fire truck. All right. If you were to win an SB, who would your celebrity date be? Kendall Jenner. Uh, favorite post-game meal stop in the Ivy League? Yeah, it's gotta be Chick-fil-A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have one for strangest food in the ball at, that you've ever eaten at the ballpark? Yeah, um, Sriracha Peanuts. That's an interesting combination, how is that? They were uh, peanuts, but they were Sriracha flavored. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they weren't good. <laughs> Instant stomach ache. 
Ooh, I can imagine. Yeah. If you could play another sport competitively, what would it be? Football. Uh, position? Right, wide receiver. All right. Best and worst subjects in school? Um, I'm pretty good at English, and I'm very bad at math. Definitely math is the worst one. Uh, favorite MLB stadium? I like Fenway Park. All right. Mm -hmm. Favorite roller coaster and amusement park? Um, I'm going to have to go with Supreme Scream. Supreme Scream and Knott's Berry Farm. All right. And then favorite Simpsons character? Um, I don't really watch The Simpsons, so I'm just going to go with Bart. He's the only one I know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you want to go bonus? Yeah, why not? All right. Favorite book? I don't really read, but <laughs> I like The Outsiders. My teacher read that one in class one time. All right. And then uh, favorite non-baseball vacation? Um, I like Costa Rica. Costa Rica's cool. All right. Yeah. And we'll work our way down the line. Ready? Ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll go in reverse order. So we'll start with bon your, the bonus two for you. Favorite non-baseball vacation? Um, probably Mammoth for snowboarding. All right. Uh, Favorite book? Um, I don't read, but I don't know. I don't really have books. You're the outside is good. Outside is good. Lost in the Woods? Lost in okay. the Woods pretty good. All right. Something's going on. Yeah. That's what, the third one in about 20 minutes? All right, we'll work our way up. Uh, favorite Simpsons character? Uh, probably Lisa. All right. Favorite roller coaster and amusement park? Uh, log ride. That's very fun. Okay. It's old. It's it's old. Favorite MLB stadium? Um, probably the Rays. All right. Tropicana. Best and worst subjects in school? My best probably. English and ceramics is my top one. Nice. Math is definitely my worst. All right. If you could play another sport competitively, what would it be? Um, lacrosse. Ooh, that's a new one. I like lacrosse. All right. Strangest food you've eaten at the ballpark? I have not tried anything. All right. Uh, favorite post-game meal in the Ivy League? Probably Chick-fil-A. Alright. And then, if you were to win an SB, who would your celebrity date be? Probably Kylie Jenner. Sister. Yeah, sister. Alright. And favorite ice cream flavor? Um, gold Mel Ribbon. Ooh, That's I haven't tried that one. Oh, it's good. Alright, and last, last up? Alright. Here we go. Uh, favorite ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip. If you were to win an SB, who would your celebrity date be? Uh, Selena Gomez. Uh, favorite post-game meal stop in the Ivy League? Chick-fil-A all the way. All right. Every time. Strangest food you've eaten at the ballpark? Not very adventurous food. Mm. Stick with the hot dog. Okay. Stick, Stick with, with the, the classics? Dog. Dr. Dog. Dr. Dog. All right. If you could play another sport competitively, what would it be? Um... Probably golf. All right. I played high school golf in my day. I wish I could. Tough part about uh, being in SoCal is that golf and baseball are in oh, the same yeah. season. It's the worst. There are some states where high school golf is like in the fall and then baseball is in the spring. You go to double up then. Yep. Best and worst subjects in school? Uh, best is definitely math. And worst is, uh, worst is English. Okay. Favorite MLB stadium? Chase Field. Oh, home of the Diamondbacks. That, uh, Jacuzzi out in what left center help matters. I think it's cool. <laughs> uh, favorite roller coaster and amusement park. Uh, Six Flags X Two. Okay. Favorite Simpsons character. Homer, because of the name. All right. Homer. Favorite book. Um, favorite book. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. All right. And favorite non-baseball vacation. <laughs> um, probably uh, Missouri. Ooh, what part lights. of Missouri? Uh, Springfield. Okay. All right, guys, with the playoff draw coming out Monday, anything you guys want to say to the uh, Titan baseball uh, folks watching this uh, later on? We're doing this for you guys. You guys better be there Make to sure support. support. That's yeah. it. That home game on Friday. Make check, sure you're there. Check the Monday at 10. Check the game. See where the location is. You better be there. All right.
thank you very much for your time on this Sunday morning, guys. Uh, catch up on some sleep after a late night, and uh, good luck in the playoffs. Thank you. And clear. Inland Sports. The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Kin Sporting Goods, they have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. And boost performance training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona.